Hi. Good evening, Chair. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Isaura and Jancy. How are you doing today? I am great, and you? So am I, ready to start a new week. And how was your weekend? It was a long weekend, right? Because you don't have classes on Friday, then you have Saturday and Sunday off. So what do you do? Let's start with uh, Brandy. Hello. Well, Hello. Uh, maybe you don't know, what but do I have do? a grocery store. And I really? sell, you know what is a grocery store? It's like, a, yeah. you know, who sell rice, beans, uh, snack. Yeah. So I work every day <laughs> and I will oh. and I work all week. <laughs> really? So I never, okay. Yeah, I never rest. But it's your own business. That's right. Okay. That's the reason that I had to work more. That's the reason why. <laughs> yeah. What about you? All right. All right. No, I I had a good weekend. I can't complain. I I was doing a lot of different things, and I feel I think that I rested a little bit. Uh, but every week is a new adventure. So let's see how this one goes. Well, in my case, yes, I'm finished all the homework on the platform. Nice. That's a relief because you. You have less responsibilities for this week. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not it's not recommended um, to to live. I mean, to be uh, accumulating right the the activities or the assignments on the platform until the last weeks or the last days, because in the end, some students have had problems because uh, they didn't finish on time. Then they forgot to do it. So even if they were attending the classes, but if they didn't, um, let's say, get to a percentage, right, of progress on the platform, that that's an issue. So uh, that's the reason why I recommend you to to keep on working, right, on the exercises whenever you have an opportunity to do it. And um, okay, what about you, Edme? How was your weekend? What do you do? I. I hello teacher. I'm fine. I was uh wow. <laughs> I didn't um was when you don't know how to say something, just ask me a question. Teacher, how do you say uh, mm. este, okay, okay. fui a visitar unos parientes in English? <laughs> uh -huh. I went visited my family teacher. Okay, where do you go? Um, Comasagua La Libertad. To Comasagua, okay. Comasagua. Yeah. Interesting. I, I think I have never been to Comasagua. I like traveling and visiting different places, but I've never been to Comasagua. Uh, so, yes. Okay, La Libertad. Um, Isaura, what about you? Well, in my case, my weekend was very sad because my grandfather passed away and I went to oh, San Vicente. Okay. Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's difficult to lose family, friends, and grandparents yes. are are hard too because especially if you have grown with them. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. And I hope that he's in a better place now, resting in peace, right? Uh, and that you and your family get the strength that you need to go through this process, okay? That everybody has to go eventually, right? We all have to go through that. Um, that's life as they say, right? Um, Yancy, how about you? Hello. Hello. Uh, in my case, 
very tired. Why? Um, no sé cómo se dice cuidar. Take, take care of. Uh, take care of dog. Okay, in the past, you say, I took care of my dog, for example, in this case. I took no, care no, of no. my dog. No, no, my, no, huh? no, is my dog. I heard dog. You say dad. Dad. You said dad, right? Okay. okay. I took care of my dad. Took care, took care to of, my, of my, my dad. dad. I wrote it in the chat. I took care of my dad. Okay. Uh, so he's... He's uh, sick, I suppose. No, 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 no. No? Uh, por problema. Por situaciones me lo han dejado. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, yeah. okay, got it. Okay, but, well, now you're here. So it's a moment to relax a little bit and practice English. Uh, Norma, welcome. Same for Melvin, Nubia, and Edwin. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good, good evening. evening. Hello. Good evening. So uh, your partners are just briefly uh, sharing with us what they did on the weekend. So um, what do you do on the, on your weekend, Norma? Uh, I weekend, mm, very busy. Busy, como se dice? Busy, busy. Mm -hmm. Busy. Uh, I was tidying the house. Okay, you were tidying the house. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I maybe the class is just for one. my family. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, the person I cut. Melvin. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Son consentidas las dos, por eso no me dejan estar en la clase. How do you say consentida? Well, spoiled. Oh, yeah, it's, they are spoiled. That's a good one. Okay, Melvin, so how was your weekend? What did you do? What's funny? And let me see, I going to eat out and Sunday. Mm, okay. Saturday, sorry, and Saturday. Sorry. And Sunday I rest in my house. I I rest in my day off. And who went to the beach? <laughs> no. Somebody went to the beach, I don't remember who. I didn't. I don't know who. Who else? Let's no. see. Evelyn, Nubia. you went you went to the beach, Evelyn? Hello. Hello. Um, I don't hear. Did you go to the beach? That's the question that uh, Brandy is asking right now. <laughs> ah, yes, I go to the beach in the, in the vacation. You you went mm -hmm. to the beach on vacation? No, but this weekend. In vacation. Uh, sometime, sometime Not because this weekend. because for the work. The working mm. is day. Okay, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nubia, are you there? Okay, more people are coming. That's great. So now we have Giselle with us and also Nelson. And Jorge Alberto is here too. Okay, it's nice to see you again, guys. Uh, if you want to share with us a little bit about your weekend, you can write it in the chat, right? So that you can, uh, just one sentence, right? Then probably the most important activity that you had on the weekend, for example. Uh, I would say that the most important activity I did on my weekend was to go to the movies. Uh, because I had a lot of fun and I hadn't gone to the movies in a, in a long time. So um, some friends invited me to go to watch this, um, Mario Bros. And uh, it was funny. It was funny because obviously when I was a child I or a pre-teenager, let's say, I used to play that. So it was nice to experience that. Um, I watched too okay, last, week, last weekend. Really? Mario Bros. Really bad in my okay. house. Okay. 
Excellent. Uh, okay, uh, hold on. I think somebody's writing in the, in the chat. Let me check it out. I got uh, it. I can send the link. You got it, Brandy? Okay, thank you. And somebody's having problems with the internet, but I don't recognize the phone number. It doesn't have a name. So, okay. Thank you, Brandy. Now we're going to move on. And well, it is a new week and we have uh, to remember some things, right? Some basic things. Number one, that you need to uh, be finished with the activities on the platform for the week number one. Um, and number two is that uh, it is really important, guys, that uh, as part of your learning process, okay, I know that all of you want to learn English, all of you have different motivations. You shared that information with me last week. So it is really important that you find the way to be exposed to the language, right? Uh, for example, something that I do sometimes, I do sometimes with my students, is to show them uh, 10 minutes of news. So after I finish, uh, after I finish watching the video with them, um, I ask them some questions, right, to understand. Uh, I mean, to see how much they understood from the class. And at the same time, they know what is happening in the world. So that's just one example, okay? One way that we can practice English is by watching some videos, full English, right? Uh, another way that you can expose yourself to reading, for example, is by um, practicing uh, recording yourself, recording yourself in, your, in, the, in the cell phone, right? You have the book, for example. So you have conversations in the book, in the manual, right? In the manual. So you can just record the conversation. Like, um, hi, Elena, how are you? Ah, I'm great. What about you? Did you go anywhere on vacations? Yes, I went to the beach with my family. Oh, nice. And what do you do there? So like that, you just practice the conversation with yourself. And if you have readings, for example, if you have readings, you uh, investigate the pronunciation of the words that you don't, no, or the words that you have doubts. Once you have the pronunciation, you start reading and recording the, the, the reading, the article, the paragraph, whatever, uh, in your cell phone and you listen to yourself, okay? Um, so in every unit of the manual, you have readings at the end. So you can record yourself uh, saying, right? Or reading those texts out loud. Ok, leer en voz alta ayuda un montón, pero primero tienen que buscar la pronunciación para no tener que inventar, ¿verdad? Um, <laughs> so, that's a, another thing, right? A vocabulary, you can learn vocabulary at any moment, right? With, with technology nowadays, with your cell phone, with the internet, um, applications. Then if it is more about grammar, like you say, I have some problems with the present continuous or how to use the, the bird to be or how to use the past, okay? Specific topics, right? Uh, then you just look for those topics in applications or websites and you practice with exercises, okay? You complete 10 exercises, five exercises, and that's it, right? So you take a little moment for that. That can be 20 minutes, for example, or 10 minutes, as I said in the news, right? Um, if you use social networks, I suppose you do, you use social networks like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you can follow, you can follow or like uh, different uh, pages or accounts that have content in English. Uh, it can be uh, about the topics that you like. For example, if you like musical instruments, you look for uh, YouTubers, right, that show you how to play musical instruments. Uh, if you like fashion, you can watch some videos about how to uh, polish your nails, right, with the explanation, the tutorial videos in English, right? And if you like sports, you can watch the summary of the games in English, like the news in English, but about sports. So there are many ways, many ways. I'm just giving you some ideas that that I consider are effective, that can work. And one more that, but it's not the least important, is that you also practice writing. Uh, you can practice writing with dictation, you can practice writing uh, with 
rewriting what you have on the on the on the on a document. You start writing it uh, on your notebook, for example. It's just to practice spelling uh, words. So, like that, a little journal about the activities that you will do during the day to practice the, the future, or the activities that you did during the day uh, to practice a simple past. Um, and just like that, right? You can read stories, you can read books, you can, um, if you don't like reading too much, let's say, uh, something that you can try is, for example, uh, audiobooks, audiobooks. So for example, with my, with my students today, I share with them uh, the, the Little Prince, the Little Prince. So I found the audiobook on, on YouTube and I share the link with them as, a, as an assignment. So they are going to, listen and read the story uh, it's something basic somehow let's say uh, and then they are going to do a little discussion right uh, about that so i'm going to share the link with you through the chat so you have an idea about what i'm talking about and I it's... something from youtube teacher there is an audio book or some history oh, okay so... okay yeah. nice yeah, thank you. So yeah, that's what I'm telling you, right? There are many resources. Nowadays, people who don't learn a language is because they don't want, because we have that's right. un unlimited resources, unlimited resources, right? The limitation now is probably time, right? Uh, or that we get distracted in social networks and other stuff. But the reality is that we have a lot of options. Now, let's move on. Um, OK, so I have, uh, let me share with you this following, OK, the manual. I'm going to share the manual with you. It's right here. All right, so here it is. Now. Uh, about the news uh, that I was telling you, I'm going to send you a link. Also, if you have an idea about that, what I'm talking about, it's uh, CNN 10. It is uh, special uh, editions for students. So, uh, and it's every day, every day from Monday through Friday. Uh, okay, just to give you the example, this is the link for the news corresponding to today. I will share it in the chat and you can watch it later, right? Uh, okay, here it is. So right now I'm, I'm sharing the screen with you uh, with the manual, right? The manual uh, from It Really Works. So we're going to make a quick review on this uh, topic. That is about common health complaints, for example. Uh, okay, for pronunciation, just listen and repeat after me, please. The first one that we have is headache. 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 With, the, with the sound at the end, right? Headache or headache, headache. right? Uh, headache. Backache. Headache. Maybe the speaker say headache. Back cake, back cake, It's like back cake, right? Uh huh. Back cake, uh huh. Back cake, back cake. And then we have sore muscles, sore muscles, 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 muscles. Muscles. You don't pronounce the letter C. You don't say muscle. No, you say muscles. Muscles. Yeah. So something that you can do probably in your notebook, right, uh, is to write it, to write the pronunciation the way that you hear it, right? So for example, you see the word mus muscle, right? But the, but you know the pronunciation is not muscle. So and I, the teacher says muscle, and you say. Muscle. So you write the pronunciation, right, in your notebook. So you muscle. write it the way that you listen to it. For example, the way that I listen to the pronunciation, that I hear that sound or those sounds is like this. The way that I wrote it in the chat, muscle, 
mozo. 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 Y, así lo, y así lo tomo el apunte, porque así me voy a acordar de cómo se pronuncia más o menos, right? Uh -huh. Mozo. Uh -huh. Eh, as, ok, stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Ok, stomach ache. Uh, a cold. A cold. A cold. Cold. Ah, uh -huh, very good. A cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. With the cough. F sound. Cough. cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. So you don't pronounce the letter U. You only say cough, right? Cough. Cough. Yeah, cough, cough. like that. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have Different. the next word is flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. And then we have insomnia. 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 All right. All right. Uh, question, Brandy. Uh, no, just somebody was talking. It. I know we. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Sometimes people start talking around us. Uh, in that in, the, in that case, in that moment, we just have to turn off the microphone right for a moment, and when everybody silence, we continue. Uh, yeah. We can activate yeah. it again. Thank now, you. Now, um, so. Health problems, right? Health problems. Which of these problems, of these uh, eight problems, have you had recently? This year, for example, which of these problems have you had? You can write it in the chat. For example, you say, ah, the flu or uh, insomnia. In my case, I will say, for example, uh, I, this year I have had uh, mm, insomnia. Me. I have okay, rather I, I, can, I have problem with I tight. have had I have had is <laughs> et tenido, right? I have had uh, insomnia. I have had backache <laughs> uh every day almost backache <laughs> and the flu. I have had insomnia, uh, how, back how and flu. How do you type sinus? What? Sinus. sinus. It's not, yeah, it's not flu. It's something no, like I, you feel like allergic to something. It's sinus. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have. I don't suffer from sinus. No, but I mean, how do you, how you type? How do you write sinus? <laughs> Uh, to say sinusitis. No, sinus is like um, when you feel the pollen and you don't have flu, but you and you're not cold. It's sinus. It's like when you you don't know the name. Okay. No, What's I don't it? know that one. Yeah, I saw your face. Uh, I thought that you were talking about uh, si when when people have something that like is more permanent, right? Okay, so in no, the chat, no, no. you can it's, write down. It's, it's something like you're uh, allergic to the pollen. So the, the native speakers say sinus. I have sinus, and I don't know how to type sinus. Mm, got it. So when you're allergic to something. It's for the pollen. It's, a, it's sometime in the United States, they have pollen. So they are not flu and they are not cold and they are not cough, but they have runny nose. Uh -huh. It's just because for the pollen. Okay, okay. I have had headache, says Edna. Teacher, how do you say migraña in English? Migraine. Migraine. Thank you. Migraine. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, so you can write it down in the chat, okay? the Any of those health problems? Okay, flu two months ago. Okay. Uh, in this case, you just say, Brandy, I had. Because you're talking about simple past. I had. Flu, the, the flu two months ago. 
Yo tuve. Mm -hmm. I had. I always have insomnia, says Giselle. Okay, welcome to my team. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so we are the insomnia people here. Now we continue with uh, the next one. So um, it's complicated, right? It's complicated, but what do we do, right? What do we do when we're a little sick? Obviously we take some medicines, we visit the doctor and, or we ask for recommendations, right? To people who, who have experience on that. Now we're going to uh, practice uh, the following conversation, just um, a couple of volunteers and then we move on to the next part. Okay, um, so here. Uh, we have Joan and Craig, okay? I will ask, let me see, two people who haven't participated right now or so far, Nubia and Sylvia. I never participate. You never participate, Hello? right, Ren? <laughs> Hello? Nubia, are you there? Yes? Excellent. So, Nubia, you will be uh, Joan and... Sylvia, if Sylvia is here, she will be uh, Craig. Okay. 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 Hi, Craig. How how are you? How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. That's too bad. You show. Thank you. You should be a uh, home in bed. It's, it's really, really important fun. to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken taken anything? Have you for taken it? uh -huh. yeah, anything good. for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's some time help. Helpful, helpful to eat garlic, garlic soup. Soup, uh huh. You chop up, up a, a whole wood, head, whole head, whole head, yeah, of garlic, of garlic, and cook in yep. it in chicken stock. Try it. Try it. Try it. It really? It really works. Jack. Jack. That sounds, Jack. That that sounds, sounds awful. 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 That sounds awful. awful. That's so All right. Awful. So reactions for uh, Sylvia and for Nuya, please. Thank you so much. Uh, now, uh, there was someone raising the hand. I think it was... It was, it was one lady, uh, one of them was Brandy, and the other one, I think it was... Edma. Edma, Evelyn. Edma. And Evelyn too, right? Okay, so uh, go ahead. Wait a second, wait a second. It's not work. I, I'm getting a little problem with this. We can read, Hello? teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm um, yeah, having we, some connection problems see. right now. We can see the screen. Okay, teacher. Yeah, I'm having some connection problems. I think it's because of the weather. I don't know if over there is like that, but over here is uh, it's about to rain. So it's a lot of uh, lightnings and thunders. And it's raining in some parts of Samuel already. So maybe that's the reason why. Can you hear me? I can hear you, uh, but I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. I can, we can hear. see the screen. Yes, the chair. But the screen is a problem, right? We can hear you. No, we can see the screen. Well, I can see the screen. Okay, so uh, can you please just go and then um, you will be Joanne, uh, Brandy, and then Ed Edma will be Craig. Okay. 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 Hi, Craig. How are you? 
Not so good. I have a dirty 